हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ कल्पना सागर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर सी ओ डिपार्टमेंट काइट ग्रुप ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशन इन टूडेज वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट अर्थमेटिक पाइप लाइनिंग दीज आर मेजर हाईलाइट ऑफ टूडेज वीडियो लेक्चर इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द पाइप लाइनिंग कॉन्सेप्ट एंड द अर्थमेटिक पाइप लाइनिंग बिफोर गेटिंग स्टार्टेड विद टूडेज वीडियो लेक्चर लेट्स फर्स्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वट इज पाइप लाइनिंग Pipelining is a process of arrangement of hardware elements of the CPU such that its overall performance is increased. Simultaneous execution of more than one instruction takes place in a pipeline processor. Now let's try to understand sequential execution of a program. To execute an instruction, we need to have instruction fetching, instruction decoding. operand fetching and the execution of the instruction phases in sequential execution of program there is no proper utilization of the resources like alu cu and the registers etc here in this diagram we have the program which is a collection of n number of instruction in the case of sequential execution of program we have the space time diagram as shown in this figure in this you can notice the four stages of the instruction that is instruction fetching instruction decoding operand fetching and execution phase and along with these stages we have time on the x axis each instruction has these four stages first of all the instruction 1 will be executed and its four stages will be executed in this order means from the time 0 to 1 the first stage of the instruction 1 will be executed then from time 1 to 2 the next stage of the instruction first will be executed after that you can notice within the time 2 to 3 the third stage of the instruction is executing and at last from the time 3 to 4 there is the last stage of the instruction 1 gets executed after which we get the output of the instruction 1 In the same way, we get the output of the instruction two and three. So, in this way, we can observe the space-time diagram of the sequential execution of the program. Now, let's try to understand the concept of overlapped execution of program in contrast to the sequential execution of program. In overlapped execution of program there is a proper utilization of the resources like the ALU CU and registers etc This is the space time diagram of overlapped execution of the program In this diagram too we have the four stages that belong to a instruction and the time is represented on the x axis In this pipeline in this pipeline cycle from the time 0 to 1 the the first stage of the instruction 1 is executed whereas from the time 1 to 2 the two instruction are executing simultaneously the first stage of the instruction second and the second stage of the instruction first are executing in the same way from time 2 to 3 you can observe the three instructions are executing simultaneously and at the end we are getting the output of multiple instruction with a less frame of time now let's try to understand the pipelining processing pipelining is a technique of decomposing a sequential process into sub operation with each sub process being executed in a special dedicated segment that operates concurrently with all other segments consider an example of combined multiplication and addition operation to get a better understanding of the pipeline or organization here we have the combined multiplication and the addition operation which gets divided into the sub operation in each segment of the pipeline which are defined as In order to perform the multiplication first we need two operands A and B so we need to transfer these inputs A and B into some register by using this statement the content which is there in A is getting transferred into R1 register whereas B is transferred into R2 register after which in another segment the multiplication operation will be performed in such a way that the content which are stored in r1 and r2 registers are multiplied and then the result will be stored in r3 register at the same time 
we need the third input that is your C1 and it is being transferred into the R4 register. In the next segment, the content of the R3 and R4 register will be added so as to perform the addition operation and th at last the result will be stored in R5 register. This is the block diagram of this pipelining processing. Initially, two input A and B will be transferred into R1 and R2 register respectively. Then multiplication will be performed by the multiplier and result will be stored in R3 register. After which the third input that is your C will be transferred into R4 register and then the adder will perform the addition operation on the content which are available in R3 and R4 register. At last the final result can be obtained from the R5 register. Types of pipelining. There are two types of pipelining. First is your arithmetic pipelining and second is your instruction pipelining. Let's first try to understand the arithmetic pipelining. It is usually found in most of the computers. They are used for the floating point operation, multiplication of the fixed point numbers etc. Whereas in the case of instruction pipelining, a stream of instruction can be executed by overlapping fetch, decode and execute phases of the instruction cycle. This type of technique is used to increase the throughput of the computer system. An instruction pipelining reads the instruction from the memory while the previous instruction are being executed in other segment of the pipeline. Thus, we can execute multiple instructions simultaneously. The pipelining will be more efficient if the instruction cycle is divided in, into the segments of the equal duration. We have various advantages of pipelining. Let's discuss them. The cycle time of the processor is reduced. It also results in the increase of the throughput of the system. It makes the system more reliable. Whereas it also has some disadvantages. The design of the pipeline processor is complex and costly to the manufacturer. Its instruction latency is also more. Let's try to understand what are these pipeline conflicts. There are some factors that cause the pipeline to deviate its normal performance. Some of these factors are given below. First is timing variation. Second is data hazard. Third is branching. Fourth is interrupt. Fifth is data dependency. Now let's try to understand the arithmetic pipelining. Arithmetic pipelining is used in high speed computers and to implement the floating point operation, multiplication of the fixed point number and similar computation encountered in the scientific problem. The example of the arithmetic pipeline can be considered as the pipeline unit for floating point addition and subtraction. Inputs to the floating point adder pipelines are two normalized floating point binary numbers which are defined as x and y. Where a and B are two fractions that represent the mentisas and smaller case A and B are the exponents. The combined operation of floating point addition and subtraction is divided into four segments. Each segment contains the corresponding sub operation to be performed in the given pipeline. The sub operation that are shown in the four segments are comparing the exponent by subtraction operation, alignment of the mentisa, adding or subtracting the mentisa and fourth normalization of the result. Let's try to understand this with the help of the block diagram. This is the block diagram of the arithmetic pipelining in which we have the four segments segment 1, segment 2, segment 3 and segment 4. The segment 1 deals with the comparison of the exponent by subtraction whereas in segment 2 we choose the exponent and sometimes we align the mentisa. In segment 3, we perform the addition or the subtraction of mentisa. Whereas in segment 4, exponents are adjusted and the results are normalized. Let's try to understand the segment 1 first, which is comparison of the exponents by the subtraction operation. The exponents are compared by subtracting them to determine their difference. Larger exponent is chosen as the exponent of the result. 
द डिफरेंस ऑफ द एक्सपोनेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल थ्री माइनस टू इक्वल्स टू वन डेटरमाइन हाउ मेनी टाइम्स द मेन्टीस एसोसिएटेड विद द स्मॉलर एक्सपोनेंट मस्ट बी शिफ्टेड टू द राइट नाउ लेट डिस्कस द सेकेंड सेगमेंट दैट इज द अलाइनमेंट ऑफ द मेन्टीस द मेन्टीस एसोसिएटेड विद द स्मॉलर एक्सपोनेंट इज शिफ्टेड अकॉर्डिंग टू द डिफरेंस ऑफ एक्सपोनेंट डेटरमाइन इन सेगमेंट वन The third segment deals with the addition of the mentisa where the two mentisas are added in the segment 3 within the fourth segment we do the normalization of the result after the normalization the result will be written like this this is all about today's video lecture in which we had understood the concept of pipelining the types of pipelining and the arithmetic pipelining thank you students See you soon in the next video lecture till then keep smiling and happy learning